welcome viewers from around the world. As part of the World City Festival, we are proud to introduce you to our beautiful and beloved home. We would like to encourage you to travel vicariously through your taste buds. Today, we're going to be cooking a taste of Hong Kong for you to take home and recreate in your own kitchens. So, we are going to put it on the table in Hong Kong. We will see that every family will have a chocolate. It is very delicious. Today I'll be showing you how to make a steamed egg dish with a modern twist of a lapsang souchong with seltzers and mushrooms. And I'll be showing you how to make a Hong Kong inspired cocktail with egg white foam and a tea infused gin. To make the best food, we have to start with the best ingredients. First off, I need to secure a bamboo steamer. So I've come to one of my favorite parts of Hong Kong, Shanghai Street in Yamate, where there's a plethora of shops that specialize in traditional Chinese equipment, such as bamboo steamers. Bamboo steamer making is a traditional art form that we are keen to preserve as part of Hong Kong history and culture, especially as these baskets are used so frequently in Cantonese cuisine. And this steamer basket here is the perfect fit. It is a popular Hong Kong food. We usually call it a dim sum. In the most of the dim sum, it is very easy to find it. And what we are doing today is a dry dish. So today, I'll be walking you guys through the preparation of a very special gin cocktail. But first, let me show you some of the places in Hong Kong that inspire me the most. So one of my favorite things to do here is to sit back with a nice cup of tea, relax, kind of think about reconnecting with myself and the city around me. But as you guys know, tea is a really important tradition for us Hong Kongers. We've got afternoon high teas, we have Chinese yum cha. All this is just a reason for us to get together with our family and friends and eat lots of good food and obviously drink lots of tea. the pieces that inspired me to do a tea and egg cocktail. The color is quite light and delicate, which is the feeling I'm going for with today's recipe. It also kind of looks like a bamboo steamer, which alludes to the yum cha culture in Hong Kong. For this recipe, I want to keep things simple. Since the egg is our focal point, we're going to infuse the egg with Lapsang Souchong tea, a really dark, smoky tea, to add that smoky element to the dish. We'll need eggs, Lapsang Souchong, Shimiji mushrooms, hazelnuts, and this one, for me, is the other star of the show, is the Celtus. So this is also called asparagus lettuce, and if you can't buy this in your market, maybe some white or green asparagus would work perfectly with the dish. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut this, put the dice into that and cook it for about three minutes. So now we've got a rapid boil on the water, add a little bit of salt, and then we plop the seltus in for around three minutes. Take one egg, take around 50 mils of Lapsang Souchon tea, a little bit of fine salt, and some cracked black pepper. And then we're going to pour that through the fine sieve into a jug. Pour the egg into the mold. So cling film tightly around the top. Place the bowl inside, the lid on, and then we wait around eight to nine minutes. So shiitake mushrooms that have been stalks taken off and lightly rinsed. Little shimiji mushrooms here, which I really like when they're raw. We have whole roasted hazelnuts that have had their skin removed. So nine minutes have gone by and that's looking set. Just give it a little tap on the side of the bowl and it's not wobbling at all. So very carefully, this is super hot. Carefully pull back the cling film. And now we heat our saute pan. Take about two tablespoons of butter. We add in our diced shiitake mushroom, cracked black pepper. We add in the saltus. 
a little bit more salt, followed by our raw shimiji mushroom. So now we drain off the excess butter. And then to finish, we have an aged parmesan generously over the top. Et voila.焗蛋撻是需要一定技巧的混合在一起就可以了首先雞蛋就打勻放蛋撻進去大約焗十二至十三分鐘就可以了蛋撻焗熟了之後攤攤就可以吃了今天我們會用一個茶飲料 we'll be using a tea infused gin I'll be using a Chinese jasmine tea but feel free to use an Earl Grey tea instead if that's easier to come by You'll need about a tablespoon of tea leaves for every 100 ml of gin and you'll need to steep it for about 5 to 10 minutes for the Earl Grey or 10 to 20 minutes for the jasmine tea. So for the cocktail itself, we'll need 60 ml of the gin that you just infused, 30 ml of a honey syrup, 20 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice, and one egg's worth of egg whites. Add all the ingredients into our shaker and shake it up without ice. This is called a dry shake and it allows the egg white to emulsify and get nice and foamy, giving the cocktail really nice, smooth and full texture. We're going to open it back up after our first shake, add some ice and shake again for another 15 seconds. This will cool down the drink and our cocktail will be ready. Last but not least, we'll be adding a lemon peel garnish inspired by the artwork I saw at the Museum of Art. This cocktail is my take on the classic bee's knees with the flavor of Hong Kong. Time to taste. Eat yeah, thank you. 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 What are we having, Shane? So, I've taken a traditional steamed egg recipe. Um, I've infused it with Lapsang Souchon tea, so the delicate, creamy, creme brulee type texture. The veggies are really good, really nice and crunchy. This is our... It's time for trying cocktails. Here you go. It's that time already. Cheers. 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 Welcome, viewers from around the world. <laughs> you ruined it. I... Today I'll be showing you how to make a steamed egg dish. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I need some more sir. My voice is broke. My vo voice is broke. Today I'll be showing you how to make a steamed egg dish with a modern twist of lapsang. Sorry. <laughs> 
was going to be a good one. Okay.